for mayor, then stands for speaker, and the rest of the two. You know what I mean? So, and then at the local level, what this creates is a huge class division between parents and teachers. You see? And, 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 and the teachers will agitate them, so they're closer to state power than parents, actually, because of their lives. And they really do agitate. In fact, there was a 60% of counselors in KZN were teachers. I could have said, wow. I could have said the same in the Eastern Cape. Okay. And then the ANC started saying, we can't have people double parking, whatever they call it. You're doing a job there, you're doing a job there, you're getting two salaries, why? You must leave one. And you know what the teacher said? Give us unpaid leave so we can get into council. Why? Because that's where the resources are. So these elite political networks and economic networks, they, they come together to create social um, relations of exclusion. Okay? A parent said to me, and he's in the trade union, a really proper working class trade union, he said to me, yeah, let's, let's mobilize the parents and let's talk to the Kosaja. And he said, no, we can't because Kosaja is dominated by Saji locally. He's a parent of a child. We say, oh no, but Kasatu is dominated by Sanju, so I don't know if we can do this. Let's talk about why that can't happen. Why are the working class unions not challenging their own alliance partners? Because they've got the same exact class interests as individuals. Because if you take a look at, at all the positions in government, you will find lots of trade unionists. Mm -hmm. So people will keep quiet, mm -hmm. as a trade unionists actually did when I phoned them about the education the goal slow, no, can't be seen. Okay, but he's a he's not a not one of these careerists, but he was very much like can't be seen openly. And yet he's a representative of a working class union. So the working class in Nusa, Noon and the rest of it are busy undermining their own working class children by not speaking out against their own. Because in there they they've got a, a class agenda of their own, an individual agenda. And I think if I could make a final point here, I'm always accused of union bashing by left wingers when I say this. I'm just like, do you hear me bashing Naptosa? I'm not talking about their right to organize. I'm talking about the way they abuse their state, their relationship with state power. Okay. So let's then quickly take a look at this notion well, if this is what, okay, let me just take one step back. So if this is what people in unions are doing, and they're doing it because they feel they've got no place in white capital, but maybe they can find a place in the black, in black, in the black state, so it's actually a very Africanist alliance, okay? And much as I like to disagree with Helen Zilla, the, the, the ANC needs to really consider that they are becoming, in very, very clear terms, very much an Africanist um, formation because of the way in which black people, I mean, the things you hear now, people talking in this, you know, it's, it's, it's terrifying. One of the teachers, when they were not feeling uh, the head of the department of uh, the Eastern Cape, they were like, oh, that guy, oh, he's even of a different tribe. How, since when did that matter? They're starting to talk in the race of, you know, so that's at the one level, but on the other level, it's like, let's keep all the people that are lighter skinned out of our way so we can, you know? So it's very much becoming an Africanist kind of agenda, the conservative one that is. Now, while all this is happening, we then have the working class youth, who generally, and the children of the, of, of, of the working class unions, who are becoming this so called mess that is a ticking time bomb. I mean, we know the stats 5 million kids out of work, not in school, I mean, not in tertiary and the rest of it. I'll just deal briefly with two issues here. One is graduate unemployment and the other is the five million. Uh, very briefly on graduate unemployment, there'll be disagreements over what the picture is. Some say it's big, some say it's small, but whichever way you look at it, it's on the rise. And uh, the, the, it's also most prevalent in the technical college sector, okay? Um, so whilst it seems that if you do get yourself a, a technical degree, whatever, another degree, like a, a qualification, you can advance yourself within the economy somehow, but a lot of them also don't get work. And one of the reasons that this is, is happening apparently is because black students are not taking up subjects that are needed in the economy. Um, but then, you know, again, this closes questions for us. Should people be studying because they need a job? Or should